Today I will present to you 10 legendary personalities in the history of Judo. 10 icons of this sport, who by their achievements or their fighting style won the attention and love of the public to themselves. Also I want to say in advance that this is not a top from the best to the worst or vice versa, but just 10 legends of Judo. Which of them is more legendary or less, you already wrote in the comments. Also write in the comments an idea for a new video. Enjoy watching! Kosei Inoue head coach of Japan in the previous Olympic cycle. The coach who laid the Japanese to an all-time record of 9 out of 14 gold medals. In his judo career, Kosei Inoue was able to become an Olympic champion, three-time world champion and two-time Asian champion. He competed in the under 100 kilograms category. And what he is remembered for by many is his excellent takedowns. His uchimata is a style he passed on to many current Japanese judokas. To me, Kosei Inoue is a very strong personality and motivator. For many young guys, it is a real honor to train personally with this judoka and to learn some of his tricks. Also at the 2000 Olympics in Sydney, Inoue was honored to carry the flag of his country at the opening ceremony, and then he managed to win the gold medal of these Olympic Games. Jarjis Viadori or Ilias Iliadis. He was born in Georgia in 1986, then moved to Greece where he got a new name and citizenship. Ilias is an Olympic champion in the category up to 81 kilograms and three times world champion. Now it can be said that he is one of the most mediated people on the internet from the judo sphere. It is an interesting fact that after the end of his professional career Ilias did not leave the hall and tatami. If you follow his life, you know that he is a hard worker. Ilias still does not get out of the gym and often fights with his partners. By the way, our hero won the Olympics at the age of 17, which is a record for age. Just imagine, at the age of 17 this young guy climbed to the top of Olympus and won a gold medal. Calls for respect. Ilias is also a cousin of Georgian Zurbs Viadori, another Olympic judo champion in the weight category up to 90 kilograms. Now Ilias has been the head coach of the Uzbekistan national judo team for several years. And as you can see quite successfully, the results of the Uzbek team under Ilias have improved significantly, so this judoka is a real legend. Two-time Olympic champion, two-time world champion, three-time European champion, and all this into different weight categories up to 100 kilograms and over 100 kilograms, which is absolutely unique in the whole world judo. All this is about luck Kerp Lek a judo wrestler who is a six-time champion of the Czech Republic. Luck also holds the title of the best athlete of the year in the Czech Republic. Just inconceivable facts about this judoka, who comes from not quite a judo country. Let us put it this way, all judo in the Czech Republic right now is linked to the name of Luck Kerplak. He came to the Tokyo Olympics in unreal form, but importantly he showed a tremendous tactical approach. In the semifinals he defeated Japan S. Hisayoshi Harasawa, whom even the judges tried to help but Kerplek reached the final, where he defeated Georgian Gurum Tushishvili. He won by technique and tactics and wrote his name in the history of judo in golden letters, as golden as the patch on his back. Lesha Shabachuashvili, a hard-working man, a man who was able to reach all the peaks in world judo. Three Olympics in a row he has not left the podium. Three Olympics and three different medals, gold, silver and bronze. Lesha is also world champion and European champion. He is 31 years old and his career is not over yet. This guy will probably go to the Paris Olympics. And it will be really fantastic if he can take away a medal from there. As they say there is no limit to perfection and Lesha surprises everyone with his achievements from year to year. And this judoka is a 100% legend of Georgian and world judo. Another Japanese on our list is Masato Ukishiba. He competed in the weight category up to 66 kilograms and became a two-time Olympic champion. In 2004 in Athens and in 2008 in Beijing. At the 2005 World Championships in Cairo, he won silver. He had a very unorthodox explosive wrestling style and had a very high percentage of epons. Very high percentage of epons in his wrestling. Masato Ukishiba started his career in the under 60 kilograms category and then moved up to 66 kilograms. And I think this transition has only benefited him. After the scandalous incident, he was sentenced to five years in prison and was stripped of all regalia and titles. After serving his sentence, Ukishiba switched to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and began training and coaching. Such is the career of a once hopeful for a third Olympic gold medal. But personally, I really like his style and his throws, worthy of attention and respect. Toshiko Koga sadly died in 2021. Legendary judoka who made millions of fans around the world fall in love with his technique. 
He is the 1992 Olympic champion, 1996 Olympic bronze medalist, and a three-time world champion and seven-time Japanese champion. These are just fantastic numbers for such a judoka who had a very open fighting style, who was always going at his opponent and had only one thing in mind – to throw on a pawn. Just look at how cool his Sotsurikomi Goshi one-handed throwing technique was. No one up to now, except Soichi Hashimoto, can achieve anywhere near that kind of result and that much efficiency. The absolute legend who is already in heaven is Toshihiko Koga. Teddy Reiner, French legend and giant of world judo, 11 times world champion, 5 times European champion and 2 times Olympic champion in individual standings and of course Teddy has the third Olympic gold medal in the team event of the Olympic Games. So he is a 3-time Olympic champion, just like Wikipedia says. And he also has a bronze medal from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and a bronze medal from the 2008 Beijing Olympics. This guy has had an amazing career, a career that is not over yet and it will be interesting to see what else he can show us. But Teddy is already a legend. He is also the richest judoka on the planet, with a fortune estimated at several million dollars. Teddy also has his own kimono company. Just think of these numbers, 11 times world individual champion. That deserves respect, and it blows my mind that for 10 years this judoka has confidently dominated the tatami. His record on the international stage is 157 consecutive victories, a record that was broken by Japanese world champion Kokoro Kajura at the Accor Arena in Paris. Teddy Reiner is an icon of world and French judo. Ono Shohai Before our eyes, this guy became a real legend. Before our eyes he became a two-time Olympic champion and a seven-time world champion if you include the team standings. In my memory, there are not many two-time Olympic judo champions. Write in the comments how many you can think of right now. Shohai Ono was also recognized as Japan's Athlete of the Year in 2021. But aside from such fantastic results, Ono has a very dominant fighting style. He defeats his opponents by throwing just about everyone at a pawn, both world champions and Olympic champions. This guy doesn't care at all who is standing against him. He beats everyone regardless of their regalia and titles. Japanese undefeated heavyweight Yasuhiro Yamashita is an Olympic champion, for time world champion and nine-time champion of Japan, which is an absolute record. This man is the king of the Japanese championship. Also, Yasuhiro Yamashita is the chairman of the Japanese Olympic Committee. This judoka is called invincible, and for good reason. He owns a record, which perhaps no one will ever beat, 203 consecutive victories. Also Yamashita finished his career at only 28 years old, which is quite a young age for judo. Many people end their careers at 35 or older. Think about it, at 28 years old, he was able to achieve everything. He had no equal on the tatami in the world and in Japan, and he was able to set a record of 203 wins in a row. And look at the way he fought. He just didn't give his opponents a chance. The real king of the heavyweights and the upon machine, Yasuhiro Yamashita. Tadahiro Nomura. Of course, how without him? Three-time Olympic judo champion. The one and only. Three Olympic golds is beyond fantastic. No one has been able to repeat that record for almost 20 years. Nomura literally holds the unbeatable record so far. He is also the 1997 world champion in Paris and bronze medalist at the 2003 Osaka World Championships. 